Well, the stream graphic says, let's play tennis. But really, this is kind of a holiday sale recap, of which tennis was, of course, a big part. So we're glad you're here. Welcome. Keith Avalon from Play Games. Sam is our producer, as usual, tonight. Uh, yeah, tennis and the holiday sale. It's in the rearview mirror <laughs> after a, a wild two weeks. Thank you to everybody who participated in our little sale. Uh, appreciate you being patient and waiting for your goodies to arrive. Uh, we have gotten all the holiday orders out. We uh, put, sent the last ones out uh, on Saturday. Uh, and so uh, stuff should be arriving, and I guess a lot of it's going under the tree. Not to be enjoyed until, uh, you know, December 25th, but... Thank you for all the participation. Tennis, of course, got a lot of buzz. Um, I was very surprised at the response to tennis. Uh, not that it, not not surprised that the response was positive necessarily, but I was surprised at how many people are interested in tennis. It reminded me a lot of uh, when I put out the golf game back in 2017. I was like I was like shocked at how many people were interested in playing golf on the tabletop. I remember telling people, if I had known golf was that popular, I would have put it out a long time ago. It would have worked sooner on getting a game out. And I guess really kind of the same thing with tennis. And Chad McAvoy, who uh, was really so great in working with me on this game, uh, he insisted, I, I have to say, he always insisted that there were a lot of people interested in tennis. I'm going, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> but I was wrong. Chad was right. And uh, um Grateful for that. So thanks, Chad, for getting me on the straight and narrow and, and pointing me in the right direction on this. Uh, there was some confusion in uh, in some of the rules. Uh, most of that is my own fault. Um, in, in thinking back of it, over it, you know, I, I kind of assumed. So so the so the the tennis game is really uh, derived from two existing games: the highlight game uh, and uh, the uh, golf game. You the the tournament mode from the golf game. And uh, the, I mean, the highlight game is is uh, really what what the tennis game is based on. And uh, I guess I, I mean I, I I assumed that those principles were out there, people understood it. But then it, it had dawned on me afterwards, like, well, there's a lot of people that don't own the highlight game, and don't own the golf game. So I, it was a wrong assumption on my part that uh, some of these concepts would be super familiar. By the way, the highlight if you if you like the ten tennis game, you probably will like the highlight game. It's uh, uh, uses the same methodology, but but uh, has a bit more urgency to it. It's a little, little bit less, you know, uh, uh, leisurely. Uh, but that's another topic for another night. We're talking about tennis right now. Um, there's a FAQ available in the uh, Play Games uh, community Facebook page a group. Uh, Cooper Gilbert was so good to put this together, and it's been posted. Al, Al Wilson got it posted. It uh, really covers all the things that were kind of confusing. I did get a couple of emails early on in the process, but we, of course we were so slammed with the getting orders out that I really didn't have time to, to address them. Uh, and and it, it looks like most people have figured out how things work, uh, but there is a great FAQ that Cooper's put together. It's available uh, on the Play Games community Facebook page with a, a quick download link. Uh, we've also linked it in the, a blog post that I uh, put up a couple of hours ago which is sort of a recap of the sale. Uh, there's a link which will connect you to the FAQ on the tennis game as well. And in that blog post, there's a, uh, a download link which contains a number of fix-it items, some, some housekeeping items we'll talk about after we're done talking about tennis. Uh, so just to make you aware from the outset, there's a blog post at playclassic.com which covers uh, a lot of this content uh, and also provides some links for you to get, uh, get more goodies. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of things that are addressed in the FAQ, but uh, I, w I wanted to comment a little bit further on them, specifically the uh, seven results. When you roll a seven playing tennis, um, there were a couple of questions as to how that was applied. Uh, the one one uh, question uh, revolved around what happens if a player doesn't have a seven in his return range. Uh, does he still get to check for the... Uh, you know the the qualities. Did the qualities still come into play? And and uh, honestly, it was really kind of my intent that uh, all players should have seven in their return range. A couple of players did slip through, uh, and you know, uh, so, so that necessitates the rule. We have to make a rule for it. Or what happens? What does happen when a guy doesn't have seven in his in his return range? And the FAQ. You know, we we talked about this. Uh, you know, Cooper and, and Al checked with me before posting it and and it's like uh, the the best solution I think is to uh, go ahead and check the uh, 
player's qualities, even if he doesn't, even if it's an unsuccessful return, whenever you roll a seven. Uh, because without those qualities, it's like uh, th- those players, uh, and again, there are only a, a few of them, just a handful of them, um, but those players would be at a real disadvantage if they weren't able to you know, use, draw upon their uh, tennis playmaking qualities. Uh, and same thing happens uh, when in, in the off chance there are a few players whose uh, return ranges end in seven, and when that return is reduced because of a well-executed shot, it takes away that seven. What happens to them? Do they do they not get the uh, uh, the, the quality check? And again, uh, to me, it seems counterintuitive that you should be rewarded with a, a performance chip uh, despite missing the shot. Uh, but in this case, to address those two things, uh, you know, I, I think it's that's the best fix going forward down the road. If we if we re-release this game is. Um, you know, with a, with an updated edition, we may probably the easiest fix would just be to make sure that everybody's got seven in their return range, and then that completely rules out those uh, those questions. And then if seven is taken away, uh, that would then take away their their quality check. You know, on a well executed shot. Now, by the way, that does add th- th- that adds some ratings subtleties to uh, rating the players, which is you know maybe not apparent. When you're just looking at the game at first glance, for example, if you if a player does have seven uh, uh, as his as the bottom of his return range, uh, taking that away would you know if we go with the rule that uh, you know he doesn't then get to check his qualities, it makes him a, a poorer player. So he th- that player would be at a disadvantage uh, to a player. Like, for example, like if you gave him a two through seven and say ten. Uh, well, I guess if, if I guess if you did that, then you, you, that's not a good example because if you took you would take away the ten on a well executed shot. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is the you know the granularity is there by by the the the, the numbers in the range where they are two through seven is different than three through eight, uh, and it's it's kind of designed that way to add some some complexity to to the ratings process. Anyway, this isn't supposed to be a ratings clinic on on how to rate tennis players. Only to say that right now the FAQ addresses correctly the, uh, uh, the w- what you do when a, uh, in the instance that a player doesn't have the seven uh, in his return range, or if the seven is taken away by a well executed shot. Um, we may at some point simply change that so that everybody's got a seven in their return range. But for now, the FAQ is correct. Um, I want also to bring up uh, uh, what happens when you roll a seven on a serve. Now, I I don't know this for a fact, but I assume that there were some people chiming in, uh, some of the playtesters chiming in, saying that you just get a chip every time uh, you roll a seven on a serve. That was the original rule for the game. Late in the process, I felt like, you know what, we need to have a way for, in the stroke-by-stroke, you know, the point-by-point method, uh, for the qual the surface qualities to come into play, and that's where I had the idea to change that so that you only got that chip uh, by rolling a seven if you had the surface qualities. So that's where the confusion came in. There, it was a late rules change, and, and I think a good rules change because it then does bring all the qualities into play, uh, surface qualities included. Um, so it, that led to something that I didn't think about that was brought to my you know that was that was brought up in the various forums and stuff about like uh, do you check the quality do you check the surface quality and if and if the uh, server does not have the serving quality does the uh, uh, opposing player then get to try a winner and specifically according to the rules you know that that was not the intent and the FAQ uh, you know talks about that as being uh, uh, you know not the case you don't automatically get to choose uh, try a winner but in thinking about it, it's like hmm, it kind of makes sense you know it would be a weak serve it would be considered a weak serve and you know the the uh return man could then try a winner i mean t- to me that makes contextual sense so what i want to do is, is play test that some i obviously haven't had time to play test it much uh you know recently <laughs> but uh, I, I would like to try that out and see if that doesn't fit uh so uh, and you're welcome to try that out yourself uh, in terms of uh, the seven on a serve if the player doesn't have the surface quality. Uh, I'm also really pleased that people have figured out the uh, chip usage strategies. There actually there's a lot of similarities between uh, using chips in uh, tennis and using chips in golf. They can be very strategic 
and sometimes it's a difficult decision to use them. I've noticed that a, a, a couple of people have, have mentioned that uh, they're enjoying the, uh, the think process of, do I use this chip or not? Uh, so I, I had considered putting a section in the rules about chip usage strategies, but in the end I felt like, you know what, it's kind of more fun to discover that on your own. So I'm glad that people are figuring that out. We have been getting uh, some um, questions about, you know, uh, will the game be available again? We, we, it's always been our custom, or it has been our custom for the last uh, couple of years with the holiday game that we, we you know, bring it back uh, until the end of the year. So we have put it back up, made it available again uh, through the end of the year. Uh, and then, the, of course, the next question is, will there be a boxed version of the game next year? We're still, you know, talking about that thinking about what that might look like, you know, whether it would be, a, you know, go on the Play Now site or the Play Classic site, you know, uh, uh, what else might, you know, accompany it. We're still in the kind of the decision-making process about that. But I see there's a good chance that we'll, you know, we, we would bring it back next year as a boxed game uh, at some point. Possibly, you know, like what we do with Lacrosse Blast, where it comes back as a boxed game on the holiday sale. I don't know. Again, we really haven't had the time to, delve into those dis kind of decisions, but I'd say there's a good chance it'll be back in some form as a box game in 2023. Um, we should have a clearer picture of that. We're, we're still in the process of mapping everything out for 2023. We should have a clearer picture of that uh, for you in our first of the year video stream, which will be the first Thursday of 2023. I believe that is January 5th. So that is... Tennis, and again, thanks for everybody who, who got it and who are enjoying it and playing it, and uh, thanks to uh, Chad for helping me develop it and uh, for all our, our rules guys, Art uh, Campana and, and Jay Williams, and, uh, and uh, who am I forgetting? I know, and Lawrence Davis, of course. Lawrence was super instrumental in, in, uh, in the game. And uh, just appreciate all the, the behind-the-scenes input in making the game uh, uh, available and, and so well-received this holiday season. A couple of other things to talk about. Uh, that's really all I have for tennis for tonight. Uh, the rest of this is all uh, other holiday stuff. Um, we had a couple of, you know, er, so we had some errata in the uh, various holiday card sets, and we have uh, addressed uh, the ones we know about uh, with kind of a, a holiday uh, fix-it download that you can get at that blog post I mentioned at playclassic.com. I'm just going to quickly walk through them. Um, the uh, w was brought to my attention that, that uh, the early downloads of the 81-82 uh, hockey season had uh, some of the Edmonton players had blue names and some of them had orange names. We fixed that about, I don't know when it was. It, it's all kind of a blur, but it was, it was like, I, I want to say it was the first day, uh, maybe the second day. Um, but it, so, so some people have the correct file already. If you don't, you can download the fix it file and you get that page with with the correct. You won't have to print it, won't have to reprint the whole set. Just that one page is included in the in the file. Uh, the college hoops play down, uh, which uh, has been super fun to to get out there. We have one coach, uh, Corey O'Grady. It was brought to our attention that he's not given he was not given an energized range, uh, and so. Our, I think what we're going to say is that, uh, you, you know, you can either make your own range for him. You can be a really a good coach or a really bad coach. Or you can uh, let the dice determine it by uh, rolling uh, 2d6 and using whatever the number that comes up as the bottom end of his energized range. The top end would, of course, be 4 because I believe uh, he's got a number for 3. So that is uh, the status on Coach O'Grady and the hoops play down. Also, we, we did, did not mention, I probably should have mentioned in the welcome letter, uh, the holiday letter that uh, the scoring grid for the college hoops play down uh, was in uh, was posted already. It was in our uh, convention recap where we we recap the original college hoops play down th that we conducted at the convention, uh, which again was won by Dan Garlic and Clark International. Uh, congratulations to Dan. Uh, the Golden Blades. So anyway, the the uh, scoring grid is located there. We've also included a, a jazzed up scoring grid. I'll, to show you what it looks like, it uses the uh, the uh, college hoops play down theme, the the colors and everything. Uh, so that is included in that download, and you can and you can you know have a, a matching uh, scoring grid to go along with your cards. Um, 
but the original grid is is available in along with a cool uh, two sided play mat. We set it up so that you could play head to head. We we have like a, a a play board which allows you to play head to head sitting on opposite sides of the table. That is in that download package from uh, the summer convention. Uh, what else? Couple of other fixes. Oh, there was a coach in the two thousand seven eight uh, NBA set uh, Flip Saunders from the from the uh, uh, Pistons who was had the number 12 twice so uh the corrected card takes away the 12 on clashing so he's only 12 he's only energized on 12 so that fixes in there uh i just found out from travis jansen that the the west kansas bowl binge team the backup quarterback didn't get quarter didn't get passing ratings so i did a quick fix for that that is also part of that package uh so there you know there there are minor things that shouldn't really spoil your enjoyment of the sets but uh we did want to address those and and those are all uh found in a fix it download uh again it's the holiday wrap-up blog post that i just posted if you scroll down through it you'll find the button just push the button and you get the download and it has the uh updated tennis rules um and, and, and just circling back to tennis, uh, Andy Lewis and I talked at length about this, and we, uh, you know, Andy really wanted to kind of do a, a little bit of a rules rewrite to make some of the things that were throwing people a little more clear. Just to be clear, the, ga- the rules have not changed. The rules are the same. We just kind of rewrote them a little bit. I say we. Andy uh, applied his expertise, his rules writing expertise. We kind of just tweaked them and, and, and rewrote them. So as to, uh, you know, to maybe make it a little less confusing for some people, but the rules have not changed. We, we've uh, included that in that package as well. The uh, changed, anything that's changed is in blue. Everything else is, is the same. And really, it's only, the only changes we, we address in, in that were the, in the point-by-point module. Uh, you know, th- some of the things that were throwing people off, spe- specifically the seven results and, and so on. So that's part of the package as well. Uh, I think that's all that's in the package. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think that, don't think there is. So you can you're welcome to download that as needed. Uh, a couple of other things before you wrap up tonight. Um, the Play Games Community Facebook page just got its 2,000th member. Uh, Al, Al and I have been kind of you know sort of secretly quietly. Uh, uh, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? It's actually Michael Little, uh, who's uh, lives in the Boston area. We met Michael. Uh, at uh, our Hartford event back in October, such a great guy. He's a school teacher. Uh, he uh, actually, you know, he was. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, he uh, was telling me how much he he has been using the bull riding game. We have this, we had the bull ride hero game, which is on play now, one of our business card games. And he uh, downloaded it, and he uses that in his class to kind of to teach to kind of sneakily teach statistics and probabilities, but also to kind of fill up time with an activity that the kids enjoy doing. So they, they have this, this thing going on in this class where, you know, who can ride the bull, you know, who can score the most points in the bull ride. So we were talking about that. He's uh, just such a great guy, and I'm really pleased that he'll be, he's the 2,000th member of our uh, community. We'll be uh, spiffing him with a little play package uh, just in honor of that, of that milestone. So thank you, Michael, for, for joining up. Uh, we sp- did spend some time today getting stuff back in stock. We were pretty depleted over the holiday sale, but we now have everything, uh, most things back in stock. We were unable to put the play mats back in stock. Let me just see. We are out of the, the red, white, and blue racing play mat and the demo derby smashdown mat. We have a couple other mats that are very close to being depleted. We're, we'll be placing a new mat order after the first of the year to get some of those uh, back replenished. But the games and such are back in stock. I will say that we are low on the Play Now uh, boxes. We have a, a, sh- a fresh shipment of boxes coming, I believe, hopefully next week, uh, which will allow us to you know, bulk up on, on those. Right now we're kind of skimpy on some of the Play Now offerings. Uh, but they are all in stock um, for now. Um, we also got the college hoops, uh, play down back in stock. We have had some issues with, with, uh, paper supply for that, uh, set. There's a specific kind of paper we've been using. It's, uh, sometimes difficult to get, but we do have that set back in stock, uh, for now. And, uh, we also put the college football bull binge back in stock through the end of the year. So you can have your own college, fictional college football bowl season. I, I feel like I need to emphasize that it's fictional, uh, 
even though you know for us it, it seems obvious but uh, I you know just just so there's no mistaking it's not real college teams they're our own fictional uh, play universe of, of, of college teams which actually becomes quite real as you begin to play them uh, I believe that's all I've got for tonight. Any comments that I need to address in the, in the, uh, any questions? Somebody asked when tennis will be available. Um, it's available right now. It's available right, tennis is available right now. Um, somebody, I, don't, I think you talked about this earlier, but when will the tennis game, it, will the tennis game be released as a print, printed game? Yes, we did mention that. It, we, we are talking about that. I think the odds are good. I'm not sure when or, or how, but yes, um, that's that's it. that's it. All right. Well, thank you for uh, joining us tonight. Uh, we do have our big online Christmas party scheduled for a week from tonight. Uh, no RSVP, no RSVP needed. Just show up. Uh, we are going to have a massive uh, white elephant gift exchange. Got some really cool gifts. Some of these gifts I want. Unfortunately, my name's not in the hat. Uh, but there, there's some really some really great uh, uh, white elephant gifts that have been sent, and hopefully you've sent your gift in by now to make sure it gets here. Uh, to be included in the uh, drawing. Uh, we're also going to do an interactive uh, uh, contest for, for prizes. Uh, I believe what we're going to do is, what I'm leaning towards doing, again, again not 100%, but, but my plan is to have a, a North Pole versus South Pole roller derby game, uh, and we will let you pick the score prior to the game. We'll put up a form. You can pick the score, who you think is going to win, and what the final score will be, and the person that comes closest to the final score will win fabulous play prizes. So that will be uh, our, our interactive event. And then we'll do the White Elephant Gift Exchange. We'll probably do one other thing as well, uh, time allowing. That will be next Thursday night right here on the Play Games YouTube channel. Hope that you will join us. Until then, have a great weekend. And uh, hopefully you get some of your Christmas shopping done. And uh, we'll plan on seeing you again next week right here on the Play Games YouTube channel.